imposter sneak into the frame every single time. Edie, are you a secret ninja? Show yourself now. Speaking of show, can you believe the fashion maker show is Sunday? I'm so happy you're going to be my model. Only because you promised you wouldn't sleep with the clothes while I'm wearing them like you did on my Halloween costume. I was in a rush. You know I do my best creative work under pressure. And besides, didn't you have the best costume at the party? I still don't know how you came up with the selfie stick idea, but it was pure genius. So what did we learn? Procrastination is the key to success. Um, I'm not sure that was the point. Okay, back to my thing now. I need some serious inspo if I'm gonna finish this dress on time. Wanna take a stacks run? Sure, I just need to check on my fish tank. Fabio gets crabby when his water isn't sparkling. All set, let's go. Bye, Fabio. Behave and keep your fins to yourself. I had no idea Stax had that many vintage fashion magazines. Looking at them made me feel like I had just traveled back in time to a more elegant, sophisticated, oh my goodness. I checked that sensor before I left. It was working perfectly. How did this happen? No, no, no! The fabric store is closed until Monday. I can't get new stuff in time for the show. What am I gonna do? I knew I should have tested the sensor before leaving it alone. Maybe I can wear the selfie stick costume at the show. I think it still fits. Not helpful. I'm too upset to be helpful. Apparently, I'm bad at making sensors and at being a friend. You take that back, Kaylee Hopper. You're the perfect friend. We just might need a little extra outside help for this. Know what I mean? Oh, yes, I do. And I know our secret book is safe and dry. Thanks to Ninja Edie, I've become an expert at hiding it. If anyone can help us, it's our friends in Confetti. Let's go! We need our girl, Cami. She's always so inspiring. Yeah, when you finally catch her, that girl is nonstop. Hey guys! Hey there! Whoa, Cammy! I don't know what's more surprising, seeing paper fish come to life or seeing you sitting still. I sprained my knee when I fell off the zip line in paper mache forest, and I'm supposed to take it easy for a while. I've been trying to cheer her up with a dev original, but I can't find anything that rhymes with sparkle. Want us on my cast? Yes! But first, here's something that will cheer you up. We have an emergency. It's a fashion emergency. The most horrible kind of emergency. Her hair is as shiny as a golden koi. If only she would notice this paper boy. Speaking of things that need to be shut off. Yes, an emergency involving a broken sensor, a fish tank, hundreds of gallons of water. And a fabric store with the most inconvenient hours. Your world fascinates me. So let me get this straight. Somehow, Reese's fabric got ruined by Kaylee's flooded fish tank. And you came to Confetti to figure out what to do? It's a gift, and now I'm going to give you two a gift. It's called Take a Deep Breath. You need to clear your minds and look at the problem from a different angle. Relax, make a fishy. Whoa, this looks just like that amazing pleated skirt from that vintage magazine. Cammy, Kaylee, not you, Dev. You guys are geniuses. I know exactly what we need to do to save the fashion show. We have to get back to Stax, like now. Thanks, Cammy. We'll be back before you know it. Think you'll be up for showing me that 180 hop at the bike park? I've got a helmet with your name on it. If Kaylee were a fish, her name would be Scaly. Whoa, what you making? Is that a fist-sized sweater? No peeking, it's a surprise. It's the least I can do for drowning your project. Next up, an original design by Reese Easley, modeled by Kaylee Hopper. Let's hear it for Reese and Kaylee. Remember 
what year it was when our families took that trip to Magic Kitty Mountain, Edie was still a baby. I'm putting together a video montage for my mom's birthday, and I really want to use that clip of you and me on the roller coaster. Is it weird that I'm in your family birthday videos? Side note, do you think this cozy will fit your mom's travel mug? Reese, it would be super weird if you weren't in the video. Aha, here it is. Huh, Edie looks a lot older here than I remembered. No! Uh-oh. Edie, can you come in here? Is there anything you'd like to confess, Edie? Anything involving my completely off-limits to you, computer? Go easy on your sister, Kay. She didn't mean it. Edie, does this look like our family vacation to Magic Kitty Mountain to you? The one I was going to use for Mom's birthday video montage? I think so. Isn't that Reese right there? Okay, okay, I confess. I thought the computer would make my seal project better because you and Reese always make such awesome stuff on it. All you had to do was ask, Edie. This is the only copy of the video I have, and Mom's birthday is tomorrow. Kaylee, let's pause. Edie just said that we inspired her. We are her role models. <sighs> we need to savor this moment. You mean this moment when a treasured family keepsake was ruined by seal memes? I feel you, Edie. Sometimes when I'm having a hard time coming up with ideas, it helps to talk to someone. Hey! You and I can be inspo buddies. What do you think? What's an inspo buddy? Only the best thing in the world. An inspo buddy is someone who makes you feel creative. Someone you can bounce even the craziest ideas around with. Someone who makes you feel like you can do anything. So, what do you say, Edie? Are we inspo buddies or what? Yes. And I'm really sorry for ruining Mom's birthday video. Really sorry. Poor Edie. I know. You can give your mom this coffee mug cozy. I can make her something else. You're sweet, Reese, but I'll figure something else out. I'm more worried about keeping Edie off my computer so she doesn't ruin something else. Oops, sorry, Mom, but your wedding video is now Edie's hamster eating a carrot for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think we need a change of scenery. Maybe you'll get birthday present inspiration and confetti. Or inspo for how to protect computers from seal crazy sisters. Hey, Cammy. Now that's some serious lemonade stand security. This lemonade is made from Dev's family's top secret recipe. It's been passed down from generation to generation for decades. Dev wants to enter his lemonade into the Confetti's Coolest Cooks competition, but the Shredders keep trying to steal the recipe for Queen Frivol. She's going to pretend it's hers and try to win the contest. <gasps> the recipe is locked inside this safe. Really? Who would steal a recipe for lemonade? Aren't there only, like, three ingredients in it? Ah! Before you judge, why don't you try a taste of the Chata family's legendary lemonade? Let me squeeze a fresh lemon for you. Ow, 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 I got lemon juice in my eye! Ow! Don't you mean you got legendary lemon juice in your eye, Dev? You have no idea how hard it's been trying to keep this recipe away from those sneaky shredders. Queen Frivol is such a fraud. She doesn't care how she wins this contest. She'll lie, cheat, and steal to get her hands on a shiny trophy. Ew, Dev, what exactly is the secret ingredient in your lemonade? Huh? What the? Why did the napkin turn brown? I bet the shredders sabotaged it. Keep it together, Dev. Kaylee, remember in science class last year, they showed us how to make invisible ink with lemon juice? Oh, yeah. You can't see the writing, but when you put lighter heat on the lemon juice, the acid makes it change color, and the words appear. The heat from the sun turned the lemon juice on the napkin brown. <gasps> Wait, I'm having my own light bulb moment. Dev can use lemon juice, also known as invisible ink, to write the lemonade recipe down. Right. That way, if the Shredders ever did get a hold of it, there'd be nothing for them to see. Thank you for preserving the Chata family's legacy. I can't tell you. Ow! I still have lemon juice on my fingers, and now it's in my eye again! Ow! On that note, we should get home. Let us know how the contest goes, Dev. Bye, Cammy. I can't believe this is my best idea for keeping Edie away from my computer. Well, you know what they say, Kay, when life gives you lemons. Yeah, yeah, make lemon juice. Reese, this is why you're my inspo buddy. Sometimes keeping stuff safe is about the locks you can't see, like invisible ink. 
or lemon juice on your fingertips. I'm totally with you, Inspo Buddy. Let's get to work. This fingerprint scanner will keep Edie from being able to get into my computer. I'll scan my fingerprint and upload the picture. Even though we can't see them, every finger has its own unique pattern of lines. The computer measures the distance and angle between all the lines in my fingerprint and gives it a code number. It's actually even safer than a super long password. And since no two people in the world have the same fingerprints, if anyone besides you tries to scan their finger, <clears throat> Edie, <clears throat> the computer won't let her sign on because the prints don't match. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Kaylee, backpack. Guess who won Confetti's coolest cook contest with their lemonade? Oh no, Deb, you got lemon juice in your eye again. Don't worry, I got it made in the shade. Hey, did you ever think of a new present for your mom? I'm still going to make her that birthday video montage, but I'm sad it won't have that one of you, me, and Edie at Magic Kitty Mountain. Come on in, Edie, love that you knocked. I'm sorry again about Mom's present. I know she would have loved it, but I uh, made you guys something. Maybe you'll be less mad at me? As you can see from this drone footage, oh, thank you, Melvin, for that. Uh huh. There's plenty of room in here to dump the junk that I have judged not shiny enough for my collection. Daphne, no. Back to your seat. We have a lot to cover this morning. As long as we don't get caught, we can use Parchment Pond as a garbage dumping spot for years to come. Now remember, stay hidden. If that gruesome twosome Cammy and Dev see you, I'll never hear the end of it. Now, get all of this sadness and drabness out of my sight. The Shredders better not mess this up. Getting rid of my non-fabulous junk is good, but I'm running out of room for my real treasures. Once I know I can trust them with this mission, I can put my real plan into place. Finding new, clean, unpolluted places in confetti to keep growing my precious collection. And... If a few ponds get dirty, or some boring bird's nests and squirrel bunk beds get trampled in the process, too bad. By the time my arch nemesis, Professor Seymour, that eco-friendly freak, finds out about it, it will be far, far too late. <laughs> Edie, Jax isn't hiding from you. He must be out back getting supplies. But he promised I could let Jennifer the ferret sit on my shoulder. I even put it in my calendar, see? Clearly we don't share the same talent for organization. It's been three months since I saw my planner. Hey everyone. Oh, Edie, I forgot you were coming in. I'm so sorry, but Jennifer can't play today. She fell trying to reach a bag of cheese puffs on top of the refrigerator and hurt her back leg. We can, we can relate. relate. Oh no, poor Jennifer. Will she be okay? Definitely. The vet says Jennifer needs to rest and not put weight on her hurt leg. Well, try telling her that. All she wants to do is run around and play. That's why I have her in here. If you need a break, I can carry her in the sling. That would be really helpful, Edie, if it's not too much trouble. <laughs> I bet we can figure out a way to get Jennifer back on her feet. Uh, pause. She looks so sad cooped up in there. My mind is already racing like a ferret chasing a cheese puff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are evil queen frivol shredders doing here? Slow down! They're going to run over its nest! Oh no! I know you were just trying to play with the possum, but you ruined their home. It looks like they were dumping Queen Frivol's junk into Parchment Pond. It's bad enough that she has those ugly trash piles on her own land, but now she's polluting the rest of Confetti. There's nothing she won't do to feed her collection obsession. Urgh. We need a plan, Dev. Don't worry, Cammy. Frivol's gonna pay for this. Here, baby possum. 
Follow me. Look, here's your mom. Ah! Okay, fine. Now you don't get a song. I don't even care that possum rhymes with awesome. Okay, Dev. Our furry families need new homes. What do you think about a quick trip to see Reese and Kaylee? I need a change of scenery to get my creativity flowing. Are you guys learning about ferrets too? Did you know that ferrets sleep up to 18 hours a day? Did you know that a group of ferrets is called a business? Business ferrets. I wonder if they wear suits and carry briefcases. Wow, Edie, when did you become a ferret fanatic? I was trying to think of ways to help Jennifer's leg and ask the school librarian for help. Edie, this is amazing. Seriously, librarians are rock stars. We can make Jennifer a little cart with wheels. She'll be so happy to start running around the Maker Studio again. We definitely want in on Project Fast and Furriest Ferret. Right, Reese? Absolutely. And since you did the research and found this awesome stuff, you'll be taking the lead, Edie. You know what this project really needs? Um, pipe cleaners. Edie, as the project leader, do you think you can procure the necessary provisions? Extra fuzzy ones and purple. It's Jennifer's favorite color. You got it. Guys, Kaylee's little sister Edie is around and she cannot see you here. Gotcha. We'll be quick. Promise. Queen Frivol sent the Shredders to pollute Parchment Pond with her piles of junk, and they plowed right through this little family's nest and a bunch of other animal habitats, too. Now we have a lot of homeless critters. We figured since you hang out with Edie's hamster and Jax's ferret, you might have some ideas. Speaking of Jennifer the ferret, we're working on a project for her right now and are studying up on her furry friend. Did you know that in the wild, ferrets move into nests that other animals have left behind? Little recycling rascals. <sighs> Cammy, I bet with your amazing origami skills. Ah, uh, of course. I knew you'd get the creases out of my creative brain. We can make the cutest origami nests and burrows for all the animals, even Dev's, uh, lovely possum. Wait, my possum. I lost him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out. Thanks for the inspo. Good luck. Happy habitating. 15 inches from nose to tail. So her back legs can rest here, and the front wheels will go here. Four pounds, one ounce. We have to use a really light filament to 3D print the frame for the cart so she can easily pull it around. Jax, Jax, guess who thought of the light up wheels? Gee, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to give Frivol a piece of my mind. Uncle Seymour said he'll help us too. Frivol's trash obsession is out of control. She has trash where her heart should be. Not only did you fail to get rid of all of my trash in Parchment Pond, you think Cammy and Dev saw you shred a bunch of bunny beds? Are you sure? Maybe they... Oh, no. Oh, please, no. No, no, no. Don't, Don't be a frivol! Go, go hug, hug a squirrel! squirrel.